um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to kick off talking about metrics that matter. Um, so in 2021, Meta spent 1.4 billion with diverse suppliers globally. That's over a third of our supply diversity spend since we launched the program in 2016. Since then, we have been inducted to the billion dollar round table, which means that we are committed to spending a billion dollars with diverse businesses every year now on. But there is so much more to do. It isn't just about the spend um, and that top line uh, number especially when the goal is about creating more equitable outcomes and removing barriers. The goal is more than just the, the number in the dashboard. At Meta, we've seen the power of supply diversity and the growth and value that it brings to businesses and communities. Successful, diverse owned businesses create jobs, they hire workers, they rent buildings, and they spark generational wealth. Not only that, they provide the solution that we need to be competitive in a global economy. In the past, our diversity was about opening the doors for underrepresented businesses, but now we need to do more. We need to be more transparent, we need to provide more access and be more open. Corporates need to leverage industry learnings, interrogate our practices and re-evaluate our metrics to create stronger and more transparent standards which we can hold ourselves accountable to. And then we can make a real difference in addressing one of the most destabilizing forces in our society, the wealth gap. We can start by looking at our processes. While we aspire to open the doors to our own businesses, for many, of our, for many, our processes are still a barrier to opportunity. From procurement to payment terms to supplier discovery, Diverse and businesses often report that complicated processes, long lead times, and lengthy approval windows are huge barriers for them. It can take months to get approval. Time and capital, diverse and businesses just don't have. At Meta, goods and services is highly decentralised, so we've got many doors that suppliers can knock on and enter our procurement process, and moving fast is always a priority for us. We streamline the process by making it easy for potential suppliers to directly, so potential diverse suppliers directly in our purchasing tools. And um, so we have a simplified procurement process that will make it more equitable for businesses to compete for our work and means more opportunity and access to talented suppliers. Around the world, payment terms have only increased over time. The trade finding gap, finance gap continues to widen on any given day. The world's largest companies owe their suppliers three trillion in unpaid invoices. In the last decade, the time it takes the largest U.S. companies to pay their suppliers has increased by 30 percent to more than 62 days. 62 days. Companies are taking months, even quarters, to pay their invoices. The lack of affordable Accessible capital is profound, and instead of opening doors for opening doors, the, the doors for opportunity are closed. Because without capital, suppliers can't take, make new business, can't take on new business, hire new people, or invest in innovation. At Meta, we process invoices um, as soon as they're approved. Um, can't call it immediate payment terms, but it's effectively immediate payment terms with the goal of reducing the amount of time that diverse suppliers have to wait to be paid. As an industry, we need to find ways that we can accelerate payment terms so diverse owned businesses can continue to bring value and invest in their own companies. It isn't always easy for diverse owned businesses to be easily discovered with an organisation. We partner with Supplier.io and we've developed tools like our which is our diverse supplier locator, and that allows our metamates to search by keyword and location to identify diverse owned companies that they can work with. But more than just a single tool, we've embedded these principles into our end-to-end -end buying process. 
process. We want to make sure that people can have people have, in our company have the option to choose diverse suppliers um, who are qualified to work on their projects. And we want to take our technology further. So we've also talked about AI, but imagine an AI agent who could be available around the clock to be able to consult and enable dis diversify discovery. But we need to be intentional about creating connections between diverse businesses, customers, and industries. We've seen the way that those connections lead to a virtuous cycle, self-fulfilling self cycle that drives growth. So how can we amplify those connections? Through proactive referrals, case studies, intentional community building, and increased collaboration across enterprises and industries. Supply spotlights, case studies, and referrals to amplify connections for diverse owned businesses. And I've seen diverse suppliers close their first contract with one business group in better and go on to do such great work that they get introduced to more and more teams across the business. But to make a difference on a global scale, we need to do more to connect and amplify elements <coughs> in supply diversity. Bringing more visibility to supply diversity strengthens System. It's not just about opening doors for diverse owned businesses, but opening doors for others to learn from us, to see where and how we're spending, so that we might challenge each other to do better. This includes transparent reporting, healthy, diverse spending practices, and reinforcing our learnings. At present, there is limited data and visibility to supply diversity. And to address this, we need to work to towards greater transfer, transparency and accessibility of this information to show the value of the work and highlight areas where we can improve. <coughs> Meta's been sharing our diverse supply data since 2018. Uh, joining the Billion Dollar Round Table is one way we hold ourselves accountable. But even though we're proud to be part of the BDR, those metrics don't tell the full story. We compare ourselves to smaller companies spend 25% of their overall spend with diverse in companies. We know their outperformance so and we need to do better. This transparency not only motivates us, but helps us to create a new benchmark of who we want to aspire to. As an industry, we need a better system for recognising and supporting corporations who drive progress in the industry. I recently presented um, to procurement teams and suppliers at Barilla and through the call it transpired that they're already spending 25% of their spend for diverse owned businesses and they were looking to Meta for guidance and advice on their program and this, you know, in comparison, in comparison terms, they're spending a lot more than we are. Our numbers are bigger but as an organisation they're doing phenomenal work. It's not about the big companies with the huge spending. It's about recognising corporates for the right reasons. Do companies have distribution spend? Are suppliers growing with them? Are they growing the percentage of spend as well as the total spend? And are new suppliers joining the supply chain? Growth and expansion alone isn't the end goal. As an industry, we can only make an impact if we do it responsibly. And now is our opportunity to embed our values into our metrics and shape the future of this industry. By doing so, we can create more equitable outcomes, transform disempowering systems, and establish durable, sustainable practices that have a significant